And you're talking a little bit about uh, maybe some possible flurries for Thanksgiving. Yeah, flurries for Thanksgiving and uh, hopefully no turkeyitis. I don't have that on the forecast. There's probably about a 20% chance for that, and that's what Greg Riley should talk about. Mm -hmm. And that's where you turkey come in, Mr. It's, Greg. No, all jokes aside, there really is something called turkeyitis. Yeah, kind of. I mean, it, it's probably a name that's been made up in some sort of veterinary school sure. somewhere around the country. But basically, this is the annual uh, turkeyitis. Uh, warning, more or less, and Annie's walking away from hey, me, Annie. so uh, hopefully she'll Good stay morning, on the girl. stage. <laughs> um, basically, what happens is right around this time of the year is that a lot of veterinarians will start seeing patients that will come into their front door with abdominal pains, um, say vomiting, fever, and basically it's the same thing every year is that, you know, dogs like Annie that are irresistibly cute, you just cannot help but not feed them a little bit of turkey or a little bit of, um, let's say, a turkey skin or mashed potatoes and gravy. And unfortunately, these kind of dogs uh, just can't handle that kind of food. Now, are there certain dogs that can handle that kind of food, or is it just... You know, if you go to certain websites, there's going to be some people who will be saying, well, you know, pet guy, they say they can do <laughs> turkey. But it says it should be okay, and that the key word is should. Right. It's not it says it will be fine. Right. Um, so that's why I'm basically advocating, you know, don't feed your dog anything off the table. I mean, all you're doing is really promoting your dog to be begging. Right. The potential of the dog being sick. You know, one dog may be fine. Let's say if you have a multiple dog house like mine, um, Annie may be fine, but Rocky, who's been here on many a times, Rocky may be getting sick. So you just never know. Well, and then also that incorporates sweets as well. Correct. Because there'll be sweets as maybe laying out on the table and that right. kind of thing, and you don't want your pet getting in that either. Correct. Obviously, we talked about chocolate last year, and Annie's coming back to me. Uh, the other big thing is uh, a lot of people like to bake with macadamia nuts, and macadamia nuts, believe it or not, can also cause a lot of uh, weakness and oh. a lot of uh, illness within your pet co uh, population also. I did not know that. Yeah. So, um, and believe it or not, I will actually will update a list of uh, things that your pet should avoid on the uh, Crazy Facebook page. Yeah, yeah and the Crazy call. Facebook page is Greg the Pet Guy. So if you're on Facebook, you're friends right. with Abby and I, mm -hmm. uh, or, or not Greg yet, go to Greg the Pet Guy. All sorts of good stuff. And they'll be updating this, I'm sure, through the week next week, too. Correct. You're pretty right. heavy on the blogs there, which is good. So if you've mm -hmm. got any information and he gets back to questions, too, feel free to ask him there. And you can find that on either I pay, our pages mm -hmm. or just look for Greg the Pet Guy. And it is wonderful. If you have any questions, you update that with all sure. kinds of really great stuff. Try to. And so, again, if, if we suspect that maybe our dog is sick or our cat is sick, or may have gotten into something, what should we do? Uh, definitely, I would recommend call your veterinarian, okay. um, especially if they're open during that week. You may want to take them to a veterinarian. Your normal symptoms are going to start showing, not immediately, but within usually about 24 to 48 hours, right around there. So the best thing? Just, just give them their yeah. regular food. Give them their regular food, or if you wanted to give them a treat, like say green beans is fine, or oh. apples is fine, um, or even have like a little milk bone on the table, so that way they still kind of participate in the Just to the, dog, to the dog or something like that, or to the pet, that's actually going to have a lot more flavor maybe than what they typically eat, and so right. while we don't think of green beans as a super big treat, possibly, right. they exactly. very well may, yeah. right? Exactly, right. right. Good deal. Well, thanks for coming in this yep. morning, Greg. Thank you, Thank and you. have a happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And you too, Annie, Miss Annie. Thank you, and as you take a break, here's another look at how you can reach Greg, the pet guy, if you have any of your questions. And there is his Facebook as well. I definitely encourage you to check that out. It's very good. News 10 this morning. We'll be right back.